and gentlemen, from Easton, Pennsylvania, the challenger, former heavyweight champion of the world, the Easton Assassin, Larry Hale! Ladies and gentlemen, from Atlanta, Georgia, the two-time world champion and current undefeated Field has been in command nearly two minutes into the round. Holyfield, obviously the quicker fighter, glancing right hand. Larry dug a right low, and Holyfield with a left to the body. The uppercut from Holmes. Oh, left hand from Larry Holmes. So the Mercer tactic working here against Holyfield. This is shades of the Ali rope dope right here that Holmes is trying to employ. And threw a nice right hand off of Holyfield's chin. And the crowd roaring, they thought that Holyfield was staggered. Intent to stay in the corner and Holmes score. He wins this fight, that's the man he wants to fight. Larry Holmes wants to fight George Foreman. And he's giving it to Evander Holyfield more than he's getting. And right now he's fighting Evander Holyfield quite well right here in the corner. Now they're in the middle of the ring. And Holyfield with the combination. And Holyfield trying to set it up with the jab. He did not jab as much as his corner wanted against Cooper. Trying to be more effective with it to set up that right hand here tonight. There it is, the right hand. And it was a big one. And another one from Holyfield. Holmes' eyes are clear, though. He absorbed that quite well. He just caught Holyfield with two short right hands. And Holmes was smiling moments ago, almost in disdain. Oh! He's fighting at Holyfield. 12 seconds to go in the round. Larry wants to stay in that corner. Now Holmes comes to him. Holmes is uh, Holyfield's corner, wants him to move away and back off and not stay here. I mean, down to a minute to go in the fourth. Larry, and look out for a little elbow. And a right hand from Holmes. Good right hand, left hook, uppercut, and Holmes is really doing quite well against the ropes. Holmes is holding his shoulders. That's right. By holding his shoulders, he stops his arms from coming forward and right hand holds a lot of punches. A couple of low blows in there from Larry as well. Uppercut from Holmes in the right hand, and then Holyfield goes after him in the final seconds of the fourth. He does, but Holmes blocked everything that Holyfield came back with. Not that one. Overhand right from Holyfield. Oh, Larry landed the right. Holmes with the jabs. Holmes is very, very clever. I mean, he is rolling with these punches. He's dipping and using his elbows to block the body shots. And landed a one, two, landed a great right hand and wobbled Holyfield a little bit right there. And Holyfield comes back with a right of his own. Got to look into a fighter's eyes. And there goes that counter right hand. And a good combination from Holyfield. Oh, and Holmes with a good right hand out of the corner. Well, Holmes can come out and just lead Holyfield right back to the corner again if he so desires. Oh, Holyfield cracked the right hand over the top. He did, and again, Holmes is rolling with it. Got the shoulder. Couple jabs from Holyfield. And Holmes backs off towards the ropes, and Holyfield obliges him. Comes in after him with the right. Oh, Big right hand by Larry Holmes. Holyfield, as he's shown, continues to take the big punches. Last some of his own. Another right hand over the top from Holyfield. A left, another right from Evander. And Holmes coming out of there. It's a terrible cut, and it's in the eyelid, and it's already bleeding, and it's bothering Evander Holyfield. Remember we talked about fateful seventh rounds. Here we go. Holyfield's offense has been virtually ineffective against Larry Holmes to this point. And snapped his head back with a jab there, Joe. The blood continues to flow in the right eye of Evander Holyfield. And Holyfield.
Holyfield backs Holmes up again. Oh, Holmes with the right. A right over the top from Holyfield. Backs Holmes into the corner. Holmes has his gloves up in defense. Oh, good right hand by Larry Holmes. Stepped right in off the jab. Larry is talking to Evander Holyfield as he fights him. Holyfield obliges him with a combination that lands. Good left to the body and the right over the top from Holyfield. Holmes would love nothing better than to work the jab right at that cut. And Holyfield breathing heavier than Holmes at this point. Yes. This is rather amazing in the final seconds of the eighth round. Oh, he's got a lot to deal with, especially with this cut. Holmes has got to get busy if he wants to get back in this fight and rack up some more points. Holyfield scoring. And Holyfield working the jab. If you're judging a round like this, it's really the man who carries the action. And up to this point, it's Holyfield. That's right. He snaps Holmes' head back with another jab. Oh, and Larry counters with a right hand. Holyfield cracks a right hand. And really his advantage in this round based on his activity in taking the fight to Holmes. And really a lull has settled over. Crowd waiting for something to happen, which isn't the last couple of rounds. Although from Larry Holmes right at the end of the round. Oh, a beautiful right hand by Larry Holmes. Uh, another one. And, and those really have Evander a little wobbly, even though he's still moving forward. He doesn't look like... He's ready to fight back after these right hands. He's not counterpunching. He's kind of falling backwards. Oh! Connects with a right hand. Holyfield tries to go back after him, but another good right hand from the challenger. A couple good right hands by Holmes, and he bailed out with a left hook. And a good oh, one from Larry another, Holmes. Another good one, too, from Larry Holmes. Comes out with a couple more. Holyfield abandoning the jab. Nice left hook to the liver by Holyfield off a couple, following a couple shots in the head. Holyfield, left hook connects. You leave yourself vulnerable to uh, maybe some strong shots by Holyfield. Nothing's gonna happen for Larry Holmes. He's gotta press it like he did with that right hand, and that was a nice shot. They're breathing about the same here with a minute 12 to go and a 12th round fight. Oh! Two more right hands, a long one and a short one on the inside, landed by Holmes. I, I think that's a reach, Joe. That's I don't a, know. It's a long time ago. Maybe based on overall reputation, but not one specific incident. Here we go with 33 seconds remaining. Larry Holmes coming on strong in the 11th and 12th after resting in 8 through 10. Couple and good hooks by Holyfield. Holyfield with the left hand. And this fight ending in a flurry, and Holyfield with the left. And has Holmes up against the ropes, and Holmes trying to battle out of there with 15 seconds to go. Both looking for one big punch, and now Holyfield and backs off. It's Holmes who runs Holyfield off the ropes here. He only had 15 seconds left. He should fight to the finish here and ensure the victory for himself. For the winner by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed lightweight champion of the world, Evander. Real deal, holy field. A big oh. smile, he's looking down. No, oh. oh. Dumas says go to the other corner, and Holmes pats him on the head. Larry enjoying himself. At least Holyfield consistent in all of his defenses. He takes punches. Oh, look at, look at Holmes. Holmes looking down towards the commentators. Oh, he's looking directly at George Foreman. Again, Holmes smiling down and now talking to George Foreman. He better get on the ball if he wants to win this fight. Little trickle coming up. And Holyfield swings and misses in his own momentum. Took him down. Drilled a slip, of course. Holyfield going for the big roundhouse, and they touch gloves. Intent to work the body with a minute 15 remaining in the 11th. Oh, 
Holmes says, come on. Puts his hands down. Come after me. And Holyfield just stands there. Draw a line in the sand, guys. The length of the eyebrow underneath in the eyelid in a very bad spot. Wow, that is a that is a gaping, gaping gash on Evander Holyfield. And Holyfield trying to go back to normal procedure, jabbing and then following up with the right. Finally, Holyfield the one to put an arm around Holmes.